We're here at the St. Louis Art Museum and we have opened an exhibition that really is the result of 15 years of research and it concerns a practice that started in Rome in the 16th century where artists use pieces of stone as painting supports. And when we say a support, we mean the surface on which they painted. So before that they had primarily used panel, um, canvas was coming into use, but starting in the 1530s, a rather enterprising artist in Rome developed a method for making paint stick reliably to stone. So at the beginning, artists covered the stone completely because the stone had meaning. It wasn't about a visual property. But starting in the later part of the 16th century, artists began to integrate the visual qualities of the stone into the paintings they were making a piece of lapis lazuli that is a blue stone they would use for sky or to make a rich blue robe. They also had types of stones that had various lines in them and they could make those the lines of water or they could make them landscapes or they could make them trees or tree branches. So it became a visual thing to integrate the natural formations and colorations on the stone into the final painted work. I really knew nothing about this until we bought a painting at auction in 2000. This was something suggested to us by a beloved museum patron, and it's a small oval painting on lapis lazuli, one of the richest and most beautiful of the stones that's used. In researching it is when I learned about this practice that started in the 1530s and went through really the 18th century, and it resulted in the exhibition that viewers will see today. So not only did this particular artist named Cavalieri d'Arpino paint on lapis lazuli, but he painted it on several other stones, also on copper, on canvas, and panel. And we were able to bring all those together so people can really get a sense of what's the difference. Why would an artist think of how visually a painting would be affected by putting it on stone versus putting it on canvas, panel, or copper? So they're all in the exhibition to be seen. There have been a few exhibitions in the past that featured private collections that had more pieces in them, but they didn't represent as many artists or as many types of stones. So in that way, this is really the fullest and most comprehensive survey of the practice of painting on stone surfaces. When people come to the exhibition, they'll notice that there are a number of works that are in plexiglass wall cases. So they allows them to get actually closer to them than they could normally, so they can appreciate the detail. And they can also appreciate what is stone and what is painting. The artists that will be encountered in this exhibition really respond very differently to using stone. So there's a wide variety of responses to using stone and a wide variety of ways in which the artists integrate the stone into the work of art.